Hi, Shanna. How are hey, you? Hey, Lander. I'm great. How are you? Fantastic. I'm absolutely delighted to be here yeah. and sharing these amazing stories of inspiration that stand on the promise of public school education. Yeah. You know, for as long as I can remember, Shanna, I, um, questions have been a part of my DNA. If you ask Harriet Sanford, they go back to second grade. <laughs> that being said, uh, I recently had a great opportunity to go home and be a part of an Albany City School District function. And I had a conversation with a school teacher of mine that illustrates that point. Uh, he happened to be my social studies teacher and my uh, basketball coach. And so we talked about uh, a situation of a basketball game where we're beating a team pretty handily. 18 nothing, two minutes into the game. We're feeling pretty good about it. And coach calls timeout. Yeah. I can't think, why would coach call timeout at 18 nothing? We're doing yeah. really well. Yeah. But unbeknownst to us, He's actually getting beat up by the parents of the other team. Mm. There's no sportsmanship. We're not playing, you know, we're not playing fairly according to them. And so he tells us that we're not going to press anymore. And as he said to me, in your Lander fashion, you <laughs> ask a question. Why, coach? It's not fair to us. We practice all the time. Let us stay in it. Why can't we do it? And he stops and pauses for a moment. And I asked him, I said, coach, did you... Yell at me? Did you get mad at me? What did you do? And he said, no, actually, I took this as an opportunity, an opportunity to teach you something that we hadn't talked about, which was sportsmanship. Mm. And so for the rest of that game, we, needless to say, took the press off, and we ended up winning that game pretty handily. But it was ironic to me that that's the story he remembered about me, asking questions. And I guess you could say I was more curious than afraid, and it's always been a part of my DNA. Yeah, oh, I love that story. And there's a couple of things I hear in that story that really stand out to me. And the first thing is empathy. His coach used kind of this practical empathy by putting himself in your position. Yeah. And I think that's why he could listen to you in typical Elander Absolutely. fashion. Yes. Uh, because he had that empathy. And the second thing is this idea of allowing you the space to ask questions. Yes. And that's a big deal because it's hard to do when you're a teacher and much more if you're a coach. Right. Which tells me that he valued the relationship. And that, yeah. that seems to be what has made him a big influence for you. But I want to go back to this phrase that you use that I love, more curious than afraid. I love that. And for me, when I think about everything that's going on outside these walls, mm -hmm. the things that are happening in schools, I think that's great advice. I think we can take that idea to be more curious than afraid and apply that to everything. I think we can apply it to our, our leadership. I think we can apply it to our teaching. Yes. I think we can apply it to, you know, our, our families. Correct. I agree. That's, yeah, that's, you know, I, I think more curious than afraid. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold on to that one, Elander. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Can I get a couple dollars on the book signing? <laughs> well. No. No. <laughs> Please carry on. Well, I was gonna, well t speaking of the book, I'm, that I think is what I was trying to show in the book is how do we make that accessible for people? How do we show teachers a way that they can do practical empathy, much like your coach did. Yeah. How can they use questions to form relationships with students, have students form those relationships together, but more importantly, form those relationships across their colleagues? Because to me, when you are more curious and afraid, you become something that I like to call a warrior of hope. And a warrior of hope doesn't go into battle against other people. They go into battle against all the forces that are arrayed against public education. And that's what we need now. And I think the way that we can be warriors of hope is to be more curious than afraid. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, look, we're excited about this day of inspiration, and we appreciate it. And we thank all of you for sharing in your stories and standing on the promise of education. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.